Looks like the blurry face is making him sick. Aaron is on TV.com. Aaron is on TV.com. Hey guys, it's Friday. Uh, Nicole's here. I accidentally locked her out of the house when she was trying to come in, but we're going to go over to Jersey Mike's and get some lunch. I'm pretty excited. I love their subs. Going to get some subs. Going to get some subs. It's funny because uh, Jersey Mike's is kind of one of those places that like I love eating there. But like whenever we're trying to think of what we want to eat, I always forget it exists. I don't know why. I always forget. Like I'm thinking like all the places that are around. I'm like, well, the only thing here is Chick Fil A and Subway. Then I'm like, when I actually think about it, there's like hundreds of more places. But I just forget about Jersey Mike. So we're gonna go there and eat. Nicole just realized last night that she is a violent sleeper. She was having a dream, and in her dream, she went to swing and punch something. And in real life, she actually had swung and punched her desk, and it woke her up in the middle of her dream. So I like actually could feel my ring hit my You're desk. Oh, and like I woke up from my hand hitting the back of my desk. So. Yeah, so that's kind of scary for when the time comes when we're married. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear like a hockey mask or something when we're sleeping. Hey, more good parking. We've been doing good lately. I love non-tourist season in Florida. You can park wherever you want. Jersey Mike's, best subs ever. Well, you know, in addition to public subs, they're good too. Oh, so delicious. I'm so excited right now. Grilling them up. She got a cheesesteak. New Jersey. Look, it's Nicole. It's Nicole. Who's this? Who's? What size is it? Regular. Oh. This is mine, I can smell Ah, that's a cheesesteak. Here's mine. Yeah. Doing justice, I had to turn it the right way. It was upside down. Hey guys, it's Aaron, a.k.a. Big Love, a.k.a. A.O. Uh, here again. Jersey Mike's was awesome as always. I highly recommend going if you're in the area of a Jersey Mike's. Aaron, a.k.a. Big Love, in the back seat. We're gonna go over to, uh, gonna go over to Starbucks and just kind of hang out a little bit there. Soak up some of the free AC and get something to drink. It'll be good and always, always makes for a good time over there. Starbucks with the homies. Switching it up a little bit. Got my blended strawberry lemonade. I'm trying to take a break from that dairy stomach disaster that I normally get. That espresso with the dairy just like bombs me every time. So Ew. taking a break. Starbucks was good. We just kind of sat there watching videos of people eating cat food. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I never. We were curious if people actually did it, and we found videos of people doing it. So it was gross. An hour leaving to go back to get. Aaron's car. Everybody say bye. Everybody say bye to AO, aka Big Love. Time for Nicole to take me home so she can go to work. I have no clue what I'm gonna do tonight. No clue. I do know my car tire has no air in it, so I can fill that up. Get some gas in it. That way my car can be drivable again. That's something I could do. Back at the crib. Say bye to Nicole, everybody. She's going to work. Well, my sister and Steve just texted me and asked if I wanted to go to dinner over at the tavern, but I forgot I still need to put air and gas in my car. So I gotta do that before I go. Trust the old little compressor. The thing is, these old 20 year old cars have like cigarette lighters everywhere. It's kind of funny. Did everybody just like smoke in the 90s? Like everybody in the car? Six deep in the old school Buick, just hot boxing it. Is that what people did? I guess. Who knows? Everybody needed a cigarette lighter apparently. Work, little compressor, work. Look at it go. Well, that's odd. Has anybody else ever had that happen where you like park your car for a couple days in the garage with like an empty tank and you know it was empty because like the gas light was on and everything, and then like you'll go to drive your car a couple days later and for some reason you have like over a quarter of a tank? That just happened. I don't know. It's one of those weird vehicular mysteries, but. I'm, ha I'm okay with that because now I have enough gas to get over to dinner because I'm kind of running late anyway, so works for me. Maybe my car's a transformer. Maybe it went and filled itself up when I wasn't paying attention. Who knows? I haven't driven it for like three or four days, so it could have. I don't know what a car this old would be called in Transformers. Maybe like Classic Tron or Antique Tron or Broken Tron, Ancient Tron. I don't know. Comment below. Help me name my Transformer. My new character, my 20 year old Buick. Anyways, that's enough rambling. I'm going over to Ed's Tavern with my sister and Steve. Time to get some food. Main Street. Where Steve and I filmed our music video a while back. Click on my sunglasses lens to watch our music video. Did you click it? 
Go check it out. All right. Going to get some food. Hey. Kristen and Steve. They beat me here. Okay, so apparently there's a lot of invisible people here out here at Liquid Ranch Main Street that have thousands of cars, but they're nowhere to be seen because I had to park really far away. It's way over there. Way over there. So if you guys are ever in Liquid, 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 seriously, if you guys are ever in Liquid Ranch, you need to check this place out. Ed's Tavern. Right there. Ed's Tavern. I made it to Ed's Tavern. Had to park miles away. Kristen is over here. <laughs> That's him trying not to do a thumbs up again. <laughs> so that's what he did instead. <laughs> Food was delicious. We're going for a stroll. Well, we found Dick Vitale, like I've told you many times before, eating over here in Lakewood Ranch, so we're gonna try and get him on video. We'll see how that goes. Wearing a blue and white striped shirt, I'll try to get him over my shoulder. <laughs> see him, blue and white polo. He's from ESPN Sports Center, college basketball. So, he's here. A little bit creepy doing that though, but you know, we got a little bit of my video. Maybe we'll meet him, who knows. Well, now that our stocking is over, we're just going to go hang out at Starbucks again for a little bit. Another pretty shot of the sky. Well, I ended up getting my ice mocha. I did so good earlier getting my strawberry lemonade, but I failed. So how do you feel about the current state of our nation? Super psyched, man. Oh, that was fun. Just about done with my long venture over to my car, so just going to head home. So I came home to find that I had another new subscriber, and it's not just any new subscriber, it's I am Jay Steven. It's the jstevenproject.com. He's the guy who met me in New York City, days 55 and 56, so you can go back and check him out or go to the jstevenproject.com and check him out. He's my real good friend. He subscribed to me today, so just like everybody, had to give him a shout out. So thanks, Jay, for subscribing. Appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you soon. By the way, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to put a link below in the description so that way you can actually go to his website and check his stuff out too. He's got a pretty funny blog that he does. A lot of, he does a lot with photography and just writing and does a lot of cool stuff like that. So make sure you go check him out. Like I said, website in the description. And on that note, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up because uh, I'm in for the night. i got a lot of things i got to catch up on. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Peace.